All right, so the last thing that we're going to talk about today is um, next generation sequence alignment programs. Okay, so there's a lot of different technologies now to generate high throughput sequence. Um, we have the Illumina Genome Analyzer 2 and now the Illumina HiSeq 1000 and HiSeq 2000. These are going to generate um, short reads. You have um, Roche 454 that's going to give you long, longer reads. Um, Pacific Biosystems is sequencing single molecules. And then the Ion Torrent is, um, again, sequencing. Uh, but as opposed to the rest of these that use fluorescence, the Ion Torrent is actually going to measure um, based on the chemistry, which is measuring the pH after the hydrogen atoms are released. So today's webinar, we're going to just talk about um, sequence that comes out of Illumina machines. So the Genome Analyzer 2 or the HiSeq machines. Um, well, all three of these machines allow for highly parallel sequencing by synthesis. You can do single or um, paired N reads that are between 50 base pairs and 100 base pairs um, from one lane of the HiSeq 2000, you get between 187 million and 374 million reads, depending on if you're using single or paired end. Um, and one, an important thing to note, however, is that there's a high error rate towards the three prime end of these reads. Okay, so before we can align the reads that we're going to get from our Illumina machine, we need to understand the sequence file that we're getting. So this is going to be a different format than the FASTA format that we talked about earlier in the webinar. Um, and this is actually called FASTQ. So FASTQ files start with a read name. So it has at and then the read name. You then have the read itself. You have the, the name of the read or um, a different header depending on how it outputs from the machine. And then you have this line of quality scores that each one of these quality scores correlates to the base above it in the read score. So these quality scores are actually ASCII characters, and they can convert to a number. And that number is um, a relative FRED score. Now, what is a FRED score? This is the, um, it provides a probability that the base was called incorrectly. So if this converts to a 10 in the FRED score, that is telling you that, one in, that there's a 1 in 10 chance that that base is called incorrectly. If it's a 20, there's a 1 in 100, 30 is 1 in 1,000, and so on. Uh, so before we do any aligning, I suggest um, everybody to check the quality of their next generation sequence data that they get to see if it's of good enough quality to trust your alignments. So how can we do that? Uh, we can use a program called the FASTX Toolkit. This program has um, scripts within it to check the quality, to do um, subsequent trimming if it's necessary based on um, what the quality plots look like. And um, oops, it advanced. And it's available um, at this website for download. So you can um, download it and install it. So we're not going to go through all the programs that are available within the FastX toolkit because there's a lot. But um, what we'll talk about today is using them to look at the quality of our reads within um, a library. So the first thing we want to use is the FASTX statistics program. So we will use this FASTX quality stats. Um, we can use this dash H option to print out all of this information. But basically what we need to give it is an input file that's a FASTQ file and an output file where we want the statistics to be printed. So I put here an example of how you would type this on the command line. And then we're going to take these stats and we're going to use the fast x quality box plot graph to give us a graphical representation of those statistics. 
And um, we can do that with the FastX Quality Box Plot Graph.sh, the shell script. And so as an input, we want to give it the statistics file that we generated um, up here. Um, this dash T can give a title to the graph that we're creating. And then this dash O is the name of the image that we're going to create. All right, so let's see what it will look like if we run these. So these two commands will give us these, a box plot that represents all of the reads within that library. And what you have along the axis here is each position of the read. So these were 75 base pair reads. And then on this axis, you have the front scores, the front like scores. And this is a distribution across, you know, if we had 30 million reads, it's the distribution of the quality score at base one across all of those reads. So ideally, we would like to have everything above a FRED score of 20. Um, you can see this is a not very good um, land of sequence here. The, the quality deteriorates very quickly. But if we have something more like this bottom scenario, we'll feel very good about it. These are um, good reads. 